Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a what sold video. This one's a little different. It is Etsy, but don't leave because these items sell on eBay. Also, they are fantastic bolos. We're gonna hit on some jewelry, but there's other items also. Um, I'm gonna use my phone. Usually I write everything down on a piece of paper and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna try and read it from my phone. So we're gonna see how that goes. But this is a what sold video from Moonstone Mamas. And most of her bolos or items that she sells, either it's bread and butter items or big money items, she sells a lot of stuff on her Monday, Moonstone Monday auctions. And please go subscribe to her. She is amazing. I don't know if you guys saw my jewelry unboxing, but all of my gemstones, she helped me identify all of them. I have four videos coming out that she helped me with. And then a fifth one that is not gemstones that we just kind of did for fun. But she is amazing. She's fantastic. She has wonderful knowledge of gemstones and other jewelry knowledge, which you guys know me. Like I'm learning, but she's fantastic. And this is her channel. And again, Moonstone Mondays auctions, jewelry auctions, and they start at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then that is 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I will link in the description below uh, a link to Moonstone Mamas YouTube channel, or you guys can just type in Moonstone Mamas. But fantastic resource to learn from, amazing. And if you guys watch my unboxing, you'll see what I mean. Um, and she will be on, I've, I've posted one of the videos and I have four more that she's helped, she helped me out with. So she's fantastic. Please go subscribe. Okay, let's get started with these what solds. Um, again, these are Etsy, which is super fun because I am selling on Etsy now. I have not sold a ton, but um, I'm learning. But this makes me really hopeful with all of the jewelry I bought. So I'm going to be putting some stuff on Etsy. So the first item is amazing. It's this vintage cameo brooch and earring set. And I know that um, the cameos can be a bolo for sure. Um, I, there's different styles, different types. Again, I am not super knowledgeable about jewelry. She is, go check her out. But um, she got this uh, from one of her favorite thrif thrift stores. She purchased a whole set earrings and brooch for $3 and sold it for $32 with free shipping. And I did have the opportunity to watch one of her auctions the other night and it was really good. It was a good time. She's, she does a great job of keeping you entertained as she's showing the pieces. The next item is this vintage carved bone pocket knife keychain, which is super cool. Um, got it at a flea market for 25 cents and sold it for $15 and 90 cents with free shipping. So very, very cool. That's a great bread and butter item. I'm actually surprised it didn't sell for more. I think it's really, um, really interesting. But um, I don't know a, a whole lot about this area and she knows her stuff. So the next item is this Burpees Sweet Peas. It's a tin sign. It's a vintage reproduction tin sign. So it's just a reproduction, but still very, very cool piece. She bought it at a yard sale down the street from her house for 50 cents and sold it for $23.93 with free shipping. All right, this is a compass, a World War II military compass. And it's very, very cool. Let's see if we can look at some other photos here. And she got this on shopgoodwill.com. She bought the whole lot for $16 and sold this watch alone for $26.33 with free shipping and it doesn't even work. <laughs> I love it does not even work. It doesn't have to. Now this is really cool. So this is a vintage colorware paper dispenser. Oh, there's that word guys. Aluminum foil storage, vintage kitchen storage. So very neat um, old piece. That is really cool. I want to see how it opens. I like that. And it's yellow. What a fun color. Okay. So she got this at a yard sale for a dollar and sold it for $39.67 with free shipping. And I do free shipping on a lot of my Etsy items also. I'm always free shipping on Mercari eBay. I charge shipping, but I do free returns. So this is a um, 1950s, ooh, 
Bergeri, B-E-R-G-E-R-E, and it's a copper bracelet with turquoise accents. This item was shopgoodwill.com, purchased the whole lot for $40 and sold this item for $26.56 with free shipping. And there you can see it on the, the clasp. It's a signed piece. All right, the next item is these nesting tin canister set of four metal and they are vintage inspired. These were from the Salvation Army for $2.41 and they sold for $21.90 in free shipping. And what's nice is you can just kind of tuck them all down into each other for shipment. The next item are these vintage beaded, ooh, malachite, malachite. M-A-L-A-C-H-I-T-E. Um, and it has a barrel clasp. And you guys probably learned this from my unboxing video. This is a barrel clasp. And this came from, I hope I'm on the right one here. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Uh, purchase this item, shopgoodwill.com. The total price for the entire lot was $18. And she sold this item for $36.94. So she's getting amazing deals. And, you know, when you get things for that cheap and you flip them for $36 and free shipping, that is fantastic. And I think Etsy's fees are less than eBay's. I've never really actually um, tried to figure out what the Etsy fees are. I'm just like, oh, I got to pay them anyway. So this is a vintage snuff box or pill holder. It's an antique trinket box. I have sold some of these in the past. I really like picking these up whenever I see them. Um, they're just little boxes and they are, they sell pretty good and they sell for decent money. But uh, this one came from the flea market, 25 cents and sold it for $12 and 62 cents with free shipping. And again, these can range in price from bread and butter up to being a, a really good bolo. Again, I've sold some of these for a decent price. The next item is this vintage sterling silver personalized name necklace. It says Esther, which is kind of cool. It came in a shop Goodwill purchase. The whole lot was $12 and she sold this for $20 with free shipping. And of course, you know, you have to find the right person to buy this because it says Esther on it. But the cool thing is, is that's probably, you know, a harder item to find. So when the person sees it and they're like, oh, that's my name. They're like, I'm so buying it. The next item is this sterling silver um, natural. Oh no, I'm going to say it wrong. Agate. Agate. Yes, I did it. Um, I was saying like agate or agat. So it's agate. Um, and I learned that from my unboxing video too, which is super exciting. Um, and this is an eternity necklace and it's 925. And this came from a lot on eBay purchased the whole lot of 10 necklaces for $20 and she sold this necklace for $25 and free shipping. Very cool. Uh, let's see. The next item is this amethyst and clear glass rhodium pendant necklace. And you know, that is one thing that I struggle with is wording for jewelry. And she's got a lot of like, she just knows what she's doing. It's awesome. I hope to someday like have a third of her knowledge. She received this from her mom to resell, paid zero for it. And she said, woohoo, and sold it for $32.86 and free shipping. And her mom also does um, a show with her, I think once a week. I think it's the auction she does with her, which is really, really cool. And the next item is this Native American sterling silver ring. It's like a Southwestern style. And you can see right there, it says sterling. She got this in a lot from shopgoodwill.com, paid $6.99 for the whole lot, you guys, and sold this one item for $36.04. Very cool. The next item is this vintage sterling silver ring. It's adventurine, and it's a green stone with a sterling, um, it's sterling silver, I think I said that. And she got this from shopgoodwill.com and paid $12.99 for the entire lot of rings and sold this for $30.24 and free shipping. So really 
great return on these shop goodwill uh lots i think shopgoodwill.com right now is probably bombarded with people because everybody's stuck inside and looking for inventory um this long stunning smoky quartz chip necklace and it says healing crystal chip necklace uh let's see purchased this for a dollar at a flea market and sold it for 15 dollars and free shipping and i had quite a few of these necklaces and I kind of was like, will anybody buy these? And she said, oh yeah, they sell. So I'm pretty excited about that. The next item are these vintage red and white romantic collectible metal plates, antique tin kitchen plates. Okay, so purchased this set from a garage sale for 50 cents and sold for $18 plus shipping. Huh, those are interesting. Super cute. The next item is... 950 sterling silver screw back carved bird earrings. Now those are fancy. Check those out. I want to see what the backs look like. Okay. So are they screw backs? Is that right? Yeah, screw back. And then I don't know what 950 means. Is that like cuz I know there's 925, so maybe 950 is more is that better? Maybe. Purchase this item from a lot on eBay. Purchase the whole lot for 60. Lot had over 50 items, and this item sold for $33 with free shipping. Vintage Taxco Mexico Stamp 925 Earth Harmony Ball Pendant. Okay, so this item came shop from shopgoodwill.com. Uh, 15 items purchased for the whole lot. Wait, hold on. Had over 15 items purchased, the whole lot for 32. Sold this for 41 and free shipping. Okay, I was reading that wrong. So it's just a pendant. Sold for $41 and free shipping. That's awesome. It's not very big. Super cute. The next item is this vintage cobalt blue glass decanter. And it's a long neck bottle. This came from a thrift store, a thrift store mall. 10 cents and sold it for 25 with free shipping. Super cool. I know people love um, cobalt blue. And the next item is this Kitchen Hans Brothers Kitchen Scale. Vintage Hansen Brothers Kitchen Scale. All right, this was purchased for $3 at a thrift store and it sold for $46 and free shipping. So definitely like a nice mix of things. And I, what I really like about this video is it helps me to learn what to sell on Etsy, what types of things she's selling. You know, that's how you learn. Um, so definitely uh, I'm going to keep plugging away on Etsy. I do like it. Uh, the fees seem decent. And I feel like uh, the margins that you get for your items are higher, but everything seems to be taking a little bit longer for me to sell on that platform. But I think it's because my feedback is so low, um, not low as in bad, but as in I don't have very many. I've sold, I'm going to be posting my Etsy video here soon, probably in the next week or two. 12 items, maybe, maybe 14. I don't know, something like that. Under 20, but I only have like four feedback. So, you know, I, I need that feedback to build that trust especially since I'm putting most of my higher dollar vintage items on Etsy, you know, because it is 20 cents an item to list. So I'm kind of careful about what I put on there, but the listing stays on there for four months. So it's 20 cents for four months. I do know that. So again, you guys, if you could please go over and subscribe to Moonstone Mamas, I think you'll thank me. Her channel is awesome. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. As always, have a great night and I'll see you real soon.